my good friend. It's always good when one of your good friends is one of the best football players to ever play. So when you catch up with him in a different area, you got um, this Mason connection. Now you see this head coach, and this head coach, he's African-American. Um, he's paid his dues. He checks off every box. When you look at him, and you look at your role here and how you're mentoring people and how you want to see change and stuff like that. How, how does it make you feel to see Tony Skin being named as the head coach of the George Mason Patriots? Well, the thing is, if I take the skin color, I take George Floyd era, I take uh, he's a short guy, I take he's from D.C., I, t I, take, you know, I take all that and put all that to side. And I say to Tony, the husband, the dad, the man the person, the mentor, the coach. This is a guy that I, I've got to know. Uh, and I think that he stands uh, he stands alone. He can stand he can stand without any of the other stuff. He don't have to be puffed up. Mm -hmm. Larry Nega talked about him. Different people have talked about him. His teammates have talked about him. But he is a, a young man uh, that had come and had done just like any other man. He worked his butt off. He took advantage of the opportunity that was given to him, and he deserves to be where he is. And we're happy to have him here now. Oh, and by the way, he's African American. He's short. He's from <laughs> D.C. And, oh, by the way, and so that's that's the way that I say yeah. the man stands alone. I don't care what you if you didn't if you didn't even see it. Yes, you don't see it. He is what he is. And then, oh, by the way, you can add whatever you want to add to it. But I, I love it. I'm grateful. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for us. Mm -hmm. Happy for us. We need something. Mm -hmm. This is what we need. We need this. This university is, this This is a tier one university. This is an academic institution. Uh, high education is very successful uh, in this state and in the country. That, that's hands down. But um, America, and fast fact, in our community, we like sports. And when we like sports, I only like sports and winning sports. I, I only like winning. So um, we got a guy that we think can have, have the leadership, the capability, the skill, the history, the background, and all, that, all that it needs, all that it's taken, that it takes mm -hmm. to be successful in basketball. And I say, let's go. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on the current commanders right now? Are you happy with Eric the enemy? You happy with some moves that are being made? You happy with uh, your thoughts? <laughs> Am I happy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I guess. I mean, I didn't really thought about it. I was happy about it. Or not. I'm, uh, right now, it's zero zero. Yeah. Nobody's playing any games. Uh, the enemy has got an opportunity, uh, like Tony Skin. Uh, and, and he is going to have to take advantage of that. You know, all this stuff about was he calling the plays, all this stuff. Okay, forget that. You're going to call him here. <laughs> That's what you, if you want to be happy about something for him, you can be happy about that. But in terms of the rest of it, winning is what's everything yeah. in sports, mm -hmm. in sports. Of course, our kids have to win on academics, get their degrees, got to be good in the community, X, Y, Z. All that still, but just if we narrow it down to sports, football, NFC East, mm -hmm. uh, winning the NFC, yep. winning the Super Bowl. Yep. I don't know. I don't know if I'm am I happy. happy. I don't. I'm neutral. No. Well, I'm not neutral. I'm neutral. nothing. I don't. Right. I mean, we haven't had play. Yeah, Absolutely. We haven't played. I don't really know who's going. Are you to do frustrated what? with all this ownership stuff? I'm just going to be point blank. Are you frustrated? Listen, man. Well, there's care. nothing to be frustrated about. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a team that is a is, well. Let me just say this: yes. if I'm frustrated about something, it's not the ownership. It's I'm frustrated about as a group of people that you could call a team or institution or whatever you want to call it. The influence and the impact, the historic influence and impact of that people. Mm -hmm of that organization to us as a community yes. has been cheated. Been cheated. We've been cheated. You know, the kids in the community, what you got? The, the, the moms and the dads, the little boys and little girls and the schools and the impact that we used to have has been cheated. We've been cheated. And the institution is too big 
it's too big. And when it was really great, it was the biggest. Mm -hmm. It was above government. It was above um, the, the bullets at the time. Yeah. It was above the wizards. It was above the gnats. It was above the hockey. That institution was above everybody. And nobody can't argue that. Period. Right. Whether you were the White House or the, or the other house, or, you know, in, in this area, that, that was it. You're right. And but not only was it it for celebration and celebratory times, but it was it for impact. Yeah. It was it for impact. If you want to say I'm frustrated, that's the only thing you be frustrated. Yeah. The impact that we have walked, we just poured out. We yeah. just like took it, poured it out. We say, oh, we don't care. 